and it's time for more enticing action. It's women's singles, and it's the all-seated affair between Tai Tsu Ying and her Bing Jiao. That's coming up on court two very, very shortly. Tai Tsu Ying, a four-time champion, and this will be a repeat of the 2018 final that Tai Tsu Ying won when she beat her Bing Jiao in straight games. As we see the women's singles draw there, and uh, the winner in this match will face the Olympic champion Chen Yufei, with the likes of the number one seed, An Se Yong, or the defending champion, Hane Yamaguchi, awaiting in the final. But these two players know each other extremely, extremely well. They've met many, 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 many times before. Of course, Tai Tzu Ying having a much better head-to-head -head record against Her Bing Jiao. That is the case with Tai Tzu Ying against most women's singles players. When she played Busan and Ong Bang Rumpan yesterday, she had a 16-3 head-to-head win. And it's not a lot worse against someone like Her Bing Jiao. She's got a 14-4 head-to-head -head record against Herbing Jiao. This will be their 19th meeting. There she is. Tai Tzu Ying, a very, very popular figure here in Kuala Lumpur. They last met at the Singapore Open last year, and Tai Tzu Ying won that 21-16, 21-11. They met two other times in... Uh, 2023 at the Badminton Asia Championships in the quarterfinals, and Tai Tzu Ying won that 14, 21, 21, 16, 21, 18, and at All England in the quarterfinals, where Tai Tzu Ying won 21, 11, 21, 11. So she's won all their previous quarterfinal meets in 2023, and this will be their first quarterfinal meet in 2024. Helbing Jiao, 26 years of age from Suzhou in China, currently ranked six in the world, has been up to five in November 2022. She last beat Tai Tzu Ying in the World Tour Finals in 2022 in the group stages in straight games, 21-15, 21-10. So she'll be looking to repeat the heroics of that. Beat Mia Blickfeld in the first round fairly easily in straight games, 15-15. And then Wang Ziyi, her compatriot, she beat in three, was pushed all the way, 77 minutes, came through 16-21, 21-19, 21-11. Last year at the quarterfinal stage, she has a 6-6 win-loss record. So 50% wins. We'll be looking to get to a winning start in this quarterfinal. Tai Tsu Ying, now 29 years of age, from Kaohsiung, Chinese Taipei. Ranked fourth in the world, has gone up as high, of course, as number one. She's reached the number one spot a few times. December 2016 was the first time she did it. In quarterfinals last year, she was nine to five. Nine wins to five losses. Beat Bei Wen Zhang in the first round in straights. 21-3, 21-19. That was a close match. And then beat Busanan Ombang Rumpan in emphatic fashion. 21-7, 21-11, 34 minutes. She was at her best in that match against Busanan. The umpire for this match from Germany, Michael Putz, and he'll be joined in the service judges chair by Afik Daniel Zuraidi of Malaysia. There he is. Now, of their previous 18 matches, to play. seven have gone to three games. Tai Tzu Ying has won five of those seven. So all the historical numbers, of course, favor Tai Tzu Ying. But Herbing Jiao is the kind of player who can change that in a heartbeat. We saw Herbing Jiao winning the toss. She chose to receive. Tai Tzu Ying chose the near end of the court. She reached the semi finals here last year as well as in 2022. Tai Tzu Ying. Herbing Jiao, on the other hand, lost to Gregoria Mariska Tunjung in the first round last year. 
so it's already a better performance this time out for Chinese Shuttler. But this is Ty's domain. There's no doubt about it. Ladies and gentlemen, champion here in 2013, right, 2017, 2018, 2019. China. And on my left, Ty Tsujing, Chinese Taipei. Hebing Zhao to serve. Love all. Play. Well, she wow. was on Love. court two yesterday. Tai Tzu Ying, so knows the conditions well enough. Loving Jiao was on court two on Wednesday. She too will be familiar with how to approach the game. Service over. One all. Yeah. She finds the spaces on the court so easily. Two. Tightening. Yesterday, she was absolutely on fire against Busan Anong Bang Rumpan. so far. Thank you. I think Herbing Jia was guessing that maybe she'd go the other direction, but she persisted with playing on that left-hand side, just moving her Four. back to front, and then back again. One. Tai Su Ying also knows that the drift is Moving left to right. Hold. Super good. Five. One. Flatter backhand. Aim straight at Herbing Jiao. Think of her as a puppet One. master because she just is able to move her opponents at will. Yeah, you can see in her technique like how the t kind of touch she has in where she places her shots. Service so over. Such control over Two. where she puts the shot. Six. Two. This is Tai Suing just exerting eight two control with every rally. Helping Joe kind of it's reacting to what's going on. Hasn't really been able to Nine, two. play her game yet. Yeah. 
As she made her debut in Malaysia back in 2012 at the Malaysian Open. that forehand from Herbing Jiao. Four, nine. Maybe that's a good idea to keep getting Tai Tsung to get Try and get the shuttle behind her, find the spaces at the back court, try and target the back line. over. Because she's so strong Seven. in the front and mid court. Four. Yeah, definitely has to be a full court game. Stretching her out to find the gaps and the openings. Yeah, big smash. Kills it off easy. Herbing Joe. She's got to take over. all the chances. Five. Ten. Making her seventh Malaysian Open appearance is Herbing Jiao, debuted in 2016. Got to the finals, of course, in 2018, where she lost to her opponent in front of her. <laughs> Just missed it. Actually missed it by quite a bit. Six, but ten. She hasn't had a problem with that side of the court before. She's carved out five points up. Tai Tsuying, number four seed. Showing extreme, a lot of variety in her game there. Uh, six minutes played. Sorry, seven. It's Tai Tsuying who has the lead. Part two, 20 seconds. Part two, 20 seconds. Eleven six. Back court and uh, ready to resume the second game. What can Herbing Jiao do here? Because she's not been well, able to play, six. is what it looks like. Yeah, I think she could try, like, up the pace a little bit, a bit more change of tempo coming in with her faster stuff. Um, and then she's just not finding her lines there, like a few errors to the side. Just, like, bringing the shots 13, a bit, so... Six. A bit more margin for error, so... These, these unforced errors go down. Service over. The fact that she's seven, seven points ahead and still gets frustrated <laughs> with that indecision <laughs> is what is uh, great to see. Makes her a champion, of course. Eight, 13. She's lost her feel for that line. You know? Yes. Two, two errors wide. Called out. She'll challenge it. 
Yeah, she Chen looked into his look at it. Out. Tai Tsuying. The first challenge of this match. Or she 14, knows her shot that eight. well. <laughs> Play. Realized that she has to play a little bit more inwards, sort of readjusted her lines on that end of the court. Tai Tsuying. Yeah. Given the error she made. Service over. 9 15. Service over, 16-9. No. Nope. Didn't get enough height Service on that Service over, 10-16. Uncharacteristic mistake from the ball number four. She's got that shot nailed normally. I think she waited a bit too long, so it got too low. 11-16. When she took that down the line shot, it looked like it could have gone 12. out. 16. Tai Tsuying. This one here. Mm, looked pretty close, yeah. But because of the drift, maybe she didn't want to take that chance. I don't know, but the drift is going that way. Mm. Service so over. Both of them, a little bit of confusion in shots to leave, shots to hit. Hesitation, yeah. 17, 12. And she's held the lead since one all in this opening game and now five points clear. It's Tai Tsuying. Angle. She just tilted her racket a little bit. Service over. And gets that angle 13, on the drop. 17. Yeah. Smart choice from Herbing Gel there. Wide. Well, she wasn't making these 14, kind of mistakes yesterday, that's for 17. sure. And that's got to be credit to her being Joe and the pressure she brings to this match. She's made it a three point game now, having won five of the last six points. That one looked like it could be out as well.
Oh, what a net shot. Still going. Uh, oh, she missed that completely. Well, that was fabulous net play from her Bing 15, Jiao. 17. Got there well, and then look at that cross net, then again with the net roll. That's excellent. From the 26 year old. That's going to be over. really frustrating. 18, it was so hard to 15. get a point in the previous exchange, and then the service error just undoing that hard work. on that brush from Herving Jow. Service so over. Be nice just to roll over 16, it there and keep 18. it in as well. No two point lead still. It's three away from taking this opening game. To put her in good stead. Oh, again with the service error. Service so over. She's trying her best to hand it to Tai Tsing right now. That's nice. Surely. 60. Game point, 16. Sets up four game point opportunities. Trying her hardest 16. to mount a challenge, especially in the second half of this opening game. She did well to close the gap, but it proved a little bit too much for the world number six. Tai Su Ying takes the opening game. 17 minutes played, and it's 21 16 to the Chinese Taipei shot line. Caught two, 20 seconds. Caught two, 20 seconds. So Tai Su Ying in uh, the lead here in this quarterfinal match against Herbing Zhao. 
having won the first game 21-16. Looking to make three straight semi-finals here at the Axiata Arena. The Herbing Joe has... Uh, Second game. A lot of work Love to do here. Play. Trying to get on top of her opponent early will be key. Drop shot straight down the line. Service over. After she made the One final in 2018, off. here she got to the quarterfinals in 2019, and that's when she lost to Nozomi Okuhara. Two very close games, 1921-21-23. Hasn't seen the quarterfinal stage since. Till this year. We just look at Tai Suying and uh, her record at quarterfinals one. at Super 1000s, and it's just that when she gets to this kind of stage at this kind of level, she becomes all that much harder to beat. Oh, look at that shot! It's landed out. Service over. Two, three. She's never lost a quarterfinal in Malaysia, Tai Sui Ying. How about that for a stat? Last year, she played all four quarterfinals at the Super 1000 tournaments and won three of them. That's a pretty solid stat. Three. Only loss all. coming at the Indonesia Open to Carolina Marin, who is one of those players who irks everybody. She's out injured, I think, right now. She's got, yeah, she's unwell. She was supposed to come to Malaysia, Marin, but was unwell. Nice. That's a nice shot. Four. Perfect. Cross three. Clipping the tape and everything. Shot again. That was the injection of pace. Just Service the right amount one. from Four. Tai Su Ying. All. Just that reverse around the shuttle. Had Herbing Jiao thinking she was going cross. Call her. They don't call her the queen of deception for nothing. She's got to be queen of back end as well. <laughs> she's the queen of everything. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she rules the kingdom of badminton. And the challenge is challenges called out. Oh, she got her last challenge on the money. Tai Sui Can she do it again? It's been called out. A herbing Jiao. And the reason you've got to sort of give or applaud Tai Sui Ying with the way she digs in at this stage of a tournament. Her Bing Jiao got to three quarterfinals in the Super 1000s last year at All England, at Indonesia, and China. And she Bello, lost all of them. Successful. And that's the difference. As we see the challenge one proving challenge unsuccessful. Remaining. She's got one left. Service over. And Her Bing Five, Jiao gets the lead. Four. Play. Back. Very nice there. Six. She just waited right in four. that corner reading Tatooine's next shot. Really well. Just 
the light nudge off the shuttle. Yeah, well left. Service over. Five. Six. Long and she's level the score. Tie three, six all. Six all. It's just long. Herbing Jared trying to get over her opponent. And again now. And this is what seven. Six. She was making Busanandu yesterday a lot. They try to go for the lines. And uh, Busanandu made, I think, four or five errors in a row in the second game. Quick, flat exchange of the net and then follows it up with Eight, an six. excellent forehand. So good at finding the line. It's four points in a row. And it's the opposite case for Herbing Jiao, who's struggling to find nine. The six. back line as well as the sidelines at the moment, and the drift is certainly not helping. wrong at the moment just when Ten. he thought that Herbing Jiao was Six. looking to come back into this match Tai Su Ying has rolled off six straight points Cross-court winner to take the 11-6 lead at the break. And it's pretty much like the first game where she's carved out five-point lead here over the number six seed. Who's left helpless in this situation, much to the delight of the Tai Su Ying fans. Fantastic work. Just under half an hour of play, and it's Tai Su Ying who's got, two, got the advantage for the game seconds. at five points. Got two, 20 seconds. Coach, return to your chair. Coach. He, he. Can't get Eleven six play. It's a five point advantage. She's already won the first game. She's got a foot in the door. As Tai Swing continues to march well, forward. Six. Eight points in a row now, Grania. Service over. Spoke too soon. Seven, twelve. Commentator's curse.
maybe that's what she needs, a little bit of urgency yes. in her well, shorts. Yeah. Being jail. I think she can up her t like change in pace and just be a bit more aggressive sometimes or take some stuff a bit faster, take the net earlier, that kind of thing. But I mean, Tai Singh's placement is so good, it's, it's hard to do that. Hitting it out back so many times now. But I am surprised that she's not hitting like those faster downward shots. In case since she's struggling with the loopy forehand so much. Yeah. She could definitely start just playing stuff down and seeing how that goes, but when you take out the back foot the tight seat, Service over. it just makes her life easier Nine. really. So. 13. It's tough. I think she could play like a bit flatter or a pushy game with yeah. these lifts and clears or the shots that are, she's hitting out the back more. Yeah. Good pressure from Herbing Jow at the net. 10, 30. Kirsten and Frank to take that as quickly as possible. The shuttle dropped a little too low. She thought she was Four, making three, some headway. 11. Having jail. Oh. It is tough playing as someone of Tai Suing's quality. I mean, those last two shots from her. For extremely high 15. quality. Yeah, she has 11. so much spin on this net shot right there. It's really hard to control the lift. talk about her being Jia trying to find some pace but look at Tai Su Ying she's able to mix it up she gets those downward shots when she needs she's able to play the net shots when she needs she's playing pretty flawlessly right now definitely controlling the points And that seemed to be getting away from her. Again, from six all in the second game, it's been Tai Su Ying who's controlled over. proceedings. Completely wrong footing her 12. there with that reverse again. Ling Jiao's running cross. And Tatiang just able with the flick of her fingers to just redirect it straight. And then you add that with her being Jiao's mistakes well. at the back lines. Just makes it extremely, extremely 
difficult and a big mountain to climb. Yeah, she's got her soft pumped up now. Tai Tsui. You get the feeling that there's really no way out now. Called out. Service over. A moment's 13, reprieve for Herbing Jiao. Friendly moment. That's a little touchy. Roll out. Because it's now match seven point. match point opportunities 13. for the world number four. Was dropping quickly. 14 20. That's the pace we've been looking for. Yeah, she took control of the rally really well. She's 15. Very keen to close this out, Tai Suying, and it's maybe causing her to make a few rushed shots. Colt. So on the third match point opportunity, Tai Suying closes out another big dominant win. This time over the number six seed Herbing Jiao and her record of never losing a quarter final at the Malaysia Open carries on. She's through to her third successive semi final. In very, very impressive fashion. Making short work of the number six seed. 21 16, 21 15 in 37 minutes. She's a happy, happy camper. Yeah. Loving it. And I'm going to hand you over to Shazad Huck now to take you through this uh, remainder of the morning session. And me, Mo Shumidat, it's goodbye for now. We'll catch you soon. It's Mixed Doubles next.
The fans have been lining up in large numbers here at the Asiata Arena for the HSBC BWF Malaysia Open 2024 to see their heroes. And it will only get more crowded here. Two straight games victories so far here in court. Two in the first session of play here. And uh, on quarterfinals day, now it is time for mixed doubles. Zhang Chenbang and Wei Yashin of China, the fifth seeds, take on the third seeds from Korea. Xiu Sung Jae and Chen Yu Zhong, our world champions. So one.